In this video, we will deploy our MongoDB database onto remote hosting platform like ML Lab or MongoDB Atlas. This is a page of ML Lab. In the ML Lab, we can deploy up to 500 MB MongoDB data as a free. Also in the MongoDB Atlas, we can deploy up to 512 MB data as a free. I will choose MongoDB Atlas for hosting my MongoDB database server. After that, we will connect the MongoDB remote server to our Node.js application. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe this channel. It will motivate me to upload video on a daily basis. I will cover the topic like Flutter, React, Node.js, Express.js and other full stack development. Let's focus on today's topic. So in the MongoDB at last, we have to create first a free account. If you have a free account, then you just log in or create a new account over there. You have to provide your data like this. I already have uh, my free account, so I just have to log in over there. So let me log in first. After the login, you will paint on a page. There you have an option to create a cluster. So let me hit over there. In the create cluster, you have a three option. First option to create a free cluster. Second and third will be charge some money. If I will create a free cluster, then I have an option like country region for creating a cluster on a cloud and different cloud platform like AWS, GCP and Azure. I will choose GCP for my cloud hosting platform and Mumbai as a region. You can see over there it is providing me a 512 GB M sorry MB data as a free hosting server. So let's create a cluster. For the creating a cluster it will take time. So let's wait our MongoDB cluster is now created. There is an option called connect. Let's click on connect. We have to whitelist our IP address. So I will add my IP address over there. If, if you click add your current IP address then it will automatically detect your IP address and after adding the add IP address it will whitelist that IP address from this server. So now our IP address is whitelist. Let's create a username and password for at last admin. So for this project, we will create a username called blog user. So let me create a username first and password is your choice so my password will be something like i will not say that uh, this this will be secret so you can create your password here so let's create a mongodb user then choose a connection method on a choose a connection method we will choose second option because we have to connect our MongoDB database to our Node.js application. After clicking it, there is a several option called driver version. So we are using a Node.js and Node.js version is 3.6 or later. There is second parameter is string. Let's copy it first. Using this string or URL, we will connect our Node.js application to our MongoDB server. So in the string, you can see that we have already a block user username and there is a second field called password. So while connecting the MongoDB server on a Node.js application, we have to provide our password over there. Let me first go on the VS code where we will connect our Node.js application to MongoDB remote hosting server. So let's paste it over there. Because I already connected my MongoDB database to a local host, 
you if you didn't watch that video i will put that link on the description you can watch it that how we will connect our local host mongodb database to our node.js application after pasting it now i have to provide my password over there so let me provide my password first then we will test it on a postman that our mongodb is finally connected or not after providing a password let me run the server hit save and run the server using npm run dev it will start the localhost server and our server is started or our mongodb database is connected because i had a callback function over there all the video are covered on a blog server development using node.js express.js playlist so i will use register api to create a new register over there with help of that api we will check our mongodb remote server that it's connected or not so let me go on a postman and a postman we will call the register api over there let's let's call the register api here this is the post method in the body we have to provide a three parameter call username password and email we can see the schema also for that in the mongodb schema i provided that there will be three parameter call username password and email so in the body we will send this parameter to our mongodb at last server so my email will be devstack at the rate gmail.com click send and it will post our data to mongodb at last i am getting a error that no right concern mode name replica okay so this is error because uh, we provided two thing on the uri let me go on a vs code first i will explain that where is the error so in the vs code we didn't provide the db name over there let me just copy and paste it over there that our db name will be app db hit save and our mongodb is connected also we have to remove this slash from the last then hit save again now let's test it on here if i will send again then we are getting a okay as a response because in the register api i said okay as a response if the user is successfully registered so with help of this it will create a users collection on the remote server with the database name appdb let me show you on a mongodb at last main page hit the collection then there will be a field of database called appdb we just created appdb database using our node.js application so it's created a app appdb database and users collection in the user collection there will be three field called username password and email you can see that over there that there is three field username password and email now our node.js application is connected to a remote server of mongodb database if you find this video interesting please like this video and subscribe this channel because i will upload video on a daily basis my i will cover topic like react flutter and all the full stack development related topic thank you and happy coding